Hi guys, welcome back. Today's recipe is going to be Soka bread pizza. This is an easy, no need dough recipe in order to make pizza in a timely fashion that's gonna be so delicious for you and your family. Follow along as we follow these quick steps and you'll be on your way with dinner in no time. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the crust. So Soka bread is chickpea, uh, it's a chickpea flour based bread. Um, you can take a look around on the internet to see its origin. I forget sometimes if it's an Italian or Spanish uh, based bread, but it's basically a flat bread. So we're not gonna have to do any dough. I personally don't like to deal with the dough when there's a time crunch. So I love this recipe. This is a quick way to get pizza done for the family. And you can make them in large batches, small batches, whatever works for you. So today we're gonna do, we have a nine by 13 inch nonstick baked pan, and we're gonna do uh, our two cup method. So this is the basic method, uh, basic recipe, excuse me, that you'll see in the cookbook. So if you are watching this as part of the course, this will be in your meal plans, uh, as well as, um, in the cookbooks. So follow along and we'll get it done. So we're gonna start with two cups of chickpea flour. So this container is a bit full, so I'm gonna be a little careful with getting it full. It may overlap a little bit, but we'll be fine. So that's one cup. Now, as you make this recipe, like any food, you always, you're able to tweak this as much as you like. If you like the dough a little thinner, if you like it thicker, but this is a good, it's like a medium amount. Uh, it's a nice, it's thick enough. It's, it kind of resembles a pan pizza. So we'll go ahead with one. And I'm gonna go a half instead of right at two, cause I always, sometimes dough likes to play. Put like a tablespoon of salt. I should have had my whisk candy already, but let me just grab it. Okay. So this is one and a half cups of water and two cups of flour. I like to reserve a little liquid for later just to see how it all works out. Sometimes if you have been lumps in the flour and it was not as much as you thought. So we want to make sure our batter is just right. Now you can use a hand mixer if you have one. I do, but I'm just going to look and do this because it's just really quick. So you just want to whisk it really well. That is all totally mixed up. Get all those lumps out of there. Now this batter feels good to me. I'm not gonna do uh, two cups. So I'm gonna stop at the half. So one and a half. So this batter feels good to me. I'm gonna stop at the one and a half here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and oil my pan. And this is just some grapeseed oil in a spray bottle. But this is very important because you don't want that crust to stick. I'm just gonna make sure that oil is all around the edges. Yes, I'm using my hands in my kitchen. Pardon me if this bothers anyone, but let's get out how we live. Let's go, okay? There we go, all done. So the batter is done. And we're going to simply just pour it in. 
And this is gonna bake like a sheet cake or whatnot. Don't be worried about, oh my goodness. You know how thin it is. Don't worry about that. It's gonna be just fine. Now our oven is preheated to 375 degrees. So it's gonna take this popping in about somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes. You wanna check it, 15 minutes is the max. But somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes, this will be done. So I'm going to pop it into the oven, and then I'll be back. So we'll top this and get it all nice and tasty for dinner. So hey guys, welcome back. Our pizza crust is out the oven. It's nice and firm, and it's ready to top, and then we're going to pop it right in. So first is our base. Well, I'll just let you know what we have. So we have our tomato sauce which is some tomato puree, a little bit of agave, some spicy seasonings and Italian seasoning. We have some fresh cheese sauce, all-purpose cheese sauce. So you have that recipe too. And then we also have our ground walnut meat. So this is gonna be a really basic pizza uh, for the kids. So we're just gonna start with a nice amount of sauce. Top that right over. Make sure you get all the corners because nobody likes dry pizza. I like my soft, my pizza's really juicy, wet, cheesy, meaty, everything. I just like it all. So I'm gonna put all that in there. Okay, so wall to wall, wall to wall. There we go. I'm gonna start seeing a little bit of me I mean, yin yang twins right there. All right, so you got ground walnut meat. Okay. And this can all go on cold, so if you're taking it out of the fridge from what you've prepped for the week, it can go right on cold because all this is going right back into the oven. So we got our meat. And then we're just gonna take our cheese sauce. Now this is, I did make this fresh right now for this video, but if you've taken it out of the refrigerator, you are going to uh, add a little more milk to it and stir it up to get it all nice and wet. But if you wanna dollop it on like some, uh, Mozzarella, you can do that as well. I'm just gonna toss it all over. Nothing special. I'm just gonna make sure I get it all, you know, in the corners. This is gonna be so good. The kids are gonna be so happy. You're gonna be happy, shoot. Cause she got to eat some pizza. It's homemade, cheese homemade, no preservatives, no crap, just good plant-based pizza that didn't take you but a second to make. 15 minutes to get that crust ready. We're gonna push it down. We're gonna garnish it with a little bit of Italian seasons and whatnot. We don't have to add any more salt or nothing like that because everything was seasoned on its own. We just wanted to make it look good. Okay. And if you want to get real feisty, we can add a little bit of fennel, which will give it more of that Italian taste. There we go. So I'm gonna pop this right back in the oven. 10 minutes, just everything soak in, and then we're ready to go. Be back. All right, so it's out of the oven and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this thing up. So it's a nice red crust. It's gonna be so good. And this cheese is still so soft and gooey. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. And this does, um, this size pan makes 
12 slices. I don't know. I would say it would serve maybe about three to four people, but once you guys start digging in, somebody might want a couple more extra slices. So you got 12. I always make two sometimes because the boys love it. But as you can see, I'm ready to eat. There you go. Pizza, so delicious, so creamy, so meaty. I love it. I'll talk to you guys later. Till next time.